Hi, Kara. Hi, students at Brewster Academy. I'm Ryan. I'm the professor. The comedy professor. <laughs> Just wanted you to see me without my mask, because in class, I'm going to have my mask on. Um, but I, just, I wanted to give you guys a little heads up about kind of what it's all about before just throwing you into the middle of a class in the middle of se the semester. Um, so thank you for being here. I hope you get something out of it. Um, so basically all my courses are humor based, meaning they're about comedy, humor. Um, I do a TV class, I do a film class, I do a stand-up class, I do a animated sitcoms class, I do humor across the media, I do a political humor class, I do a philosophy of humor class, you get the point. Um, today, uh, this is stand-up nation, so we, this is the process, we watch stand-up comedians from the 50s all the way up to present day, and we basically talk about them. In fact, that's what you will be doing today. We watch it together. So for the first portion of the class, we'll be watching a comedian, and then we talk about it. Um, now, what do you talk about? We don't typically focus on, is it funny or not? Because that's a subjective argument. And that's an argument that we sort of leave for the dinner table or with your friends or wherever hanging out. Oh, he's funny. I don't think he's funny. She's funny. No, she's not. Da, da, da. Who cares? Taste doesn't matter. What we're really looking for and what all of my courses are built on is this idea that humor is another way of saying something serious and that really good comedy comes from a place of injustice or, um, well, the, the saying I typically use is humor exists where things are most fucked up and that's where good comedy starts. It finds something that is messed up and goes from there. It tries to look at it a different way, tries to give different perspectives about it, tries to come to some sort of understanding of this thing and why it is so messed up and how can we rethink it um, moving forward. So we're going to watch, you know, we've been doing it for a couple months now, but you're going to join us in watching a comedian today and then we're going to talk about sort of what this comedian is doing to um, just to change the way we think about things, I guess, because most comedians have very strong points of view. Um, and it's important to, the first thing you have to do is understand that humor and comedy isn't just about laughs, right? You've been trained, my generation was trained and conditioned to think, oh, comedy means silliness. Comedy means the absence of meaning, which is not true. And we need to stop thinking that, basically. Um, I'm sure you watch funny things that have meaning. Um, but everything has meaning if you're looking for it. And we just don't typically look for it in comedy, um, something that I'll ask you to keep in mind is that you should be, in everything you do, every experience in your life, you should be seeking two things, entertainment and enlightenment. If you can do these things and seek those and find them, you will be a very happy person. Entertainment and enlightenment, everything, your relationships, your job, the, the TV you watch, the, um, your 
your family, everything. Seek two things, entertainment and enlightenment. It's possible, and it it's not just possible. It's transformative once you do. So I hope you'll get something out of these next few days or however much you're going to you know, join us. And um, thanks again. And hey, come to Binghamton. Maybe. <laughs>